It's easy to do things that can be self-sabotaging or hamper progress towards a goal. In this video, we look at 5 ways to stop self-sabotage. Number 1. Recognise bad habits It's vital that in order to stop self-sabotage to first identify habits that are self-sabotaging. Keep a log or journal of what you do throughout the course of a day, and identify points where habits might have hampered your progress. This might be to procrastinate or get distracted, have moments lacking self-belief or give up on a task due to frustration. By identifying these negative habits, you will soon be able to objectively see what you need to change in your day-to-day -day routine. Number 2. Self-reflect When you want to make an important change in life, you might need to self-reflect to identify what you need to change and why. This might not be easy to do, as it could mean identifying aspects of yourself you don't like or remove things you do for comfort. However, doing this will give you a much greater insight into yourself, helping you to overcome challenges and make positive change. You may also learn more about yourself and your habits, making you more self-aware. Number 3. Identify Root Causes Usually a self-sabotaging bad habit is formed due to specific reasons, commonly related to stress, that push us to form the habit as a coping mechanism. Understand what these are, as they need to be dealt with at the root cause, so that you can move on towards making progress. Otherwise, much like a wound, if left untreated and with only a plaster on top, it can get significantly worse over time. By actively doing something about this, it will help you feel like you're taking control in life, leading you to feel happier. Number 4. Disrupt Patterns of Behaviour In order to break a habit, you need to catch yourself at the point of falling into it and disrupt the pattern of behaviour. For example, if you find you're starting to procrastinate, you need to stop and take a step back towards completing a task. By taking conscious action against these bad habits, you'll feel better and more confident in yourself. Just remember it's easier and more productive to replace a bad habit with a good one, than to stop a specific habit altogether. Number 5. Change incrementally Don't try to rush changing everything in your life in one go, often it leads to failing as it can be overwhelming. Instead, try to change a little at a time working to change one habit before moving on to the next. By doing this, you'll find it's less intrusive to your lifestyle and yet allows you to more easily encourage positive behavioural changes. So take it slow, set targets and goals and move from self-sabotage to self-help. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe as we help you live life on your terms. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to ensure YouTube notifies you of the latest uploads.